Hello, everyone, and welcome to Early Morning Prayer Request and Devotions. I hope everybody's doing great this morning. On our prayer request today, uh, Angel... Hey, Kitty, where are you going? Going to check everything out. Let me get her situated. Going to sit down? Look. Well, you got a place to sit down. There you go. Good girl. Okay, everybody. On our prayer request today, Angel lost his Medicaid, and he's now uh, his, his medication is too expensive for him to afford. Pray he can get his Medicaid back, or that he can find a way to get his medicine. And that is a real rough thing to try is to get something like that back after you lose it. It really is. Uh, so let's hope everything goes well. Pray for Dorothy. She's having lots of problems with the owners of the place she used to live, as I as I mentioned. Um, they don't want to give her uh, all everything she deserved back in the way of deposits and stuff like that. And uh, the damage that was done to the place was actually something that they caused and caused her health problems as well. So Twyla has an unspoken request and Kim has an unspoken request. Uh, and pray for Deidre's dad. I don't know. Uh, I still haven't heard anything whether they've got him out, but they were in the process of it. So I'm going to try to, I'm going to try to find out something. Uh, a joy might know. I'll ask her some more or if she can get a hold of this, uh, his daughter. Uh, I really hope they got him out. It was awful. They got pictures of everything. I'm pretty sure. So that's, that's the thing to do. You know, is take pictures of things that you know might be something that would help a uh, situation. Um, Leela has the same problem with her eye as last time. She's on meds and will keep us updated. Pray that she'll get better. Pray for Jackie's Aunt Diane. She had surgery on the lump, now recovering at home. And yeah, like, a, like with Leela, uh, let's hope she doesn't have to have another surgery on that same eye. But she may have to. And uh, Jackie's Aunt Diane, uh, she's now recovering at home. Let's hope she doesn't have any more uh, problems. And pray for Shana for emotional health. And that's something that, that you know, everybody can understand. I, you know, that that's still like a, it's as bad a disease as any, any other disease. Um, continued prayers for Michael and Danielle. Hopefully he'll one day get to get to go home. Uh, he's been in the hospital for months and was in ICU for, I know, a long time, at least over a month, I'm sure. Um, and his wife's been with him the whole time. Continued prayers for Jackie for health issues. She's got de several different health issues and she's having some dental problems. And I know her leg, uh, I forget what that's called, myop, op V or something like that. Uh, I can't remember how to pronounce it. Uh, continued prayers for Deb that the cancer hasn't come back in her lung. You know, she she had it uh, in uh, her other lung. And now there, uh, there's, I don't know what she's having done, some kind of tests, I guess. Uh, hopefully she doesn't have any. Uh, Joseph is doing well so far. Please keep him in your prayers. You know, and, you know, he'll, he'll need a lot of support from friends and family, um, you know, trying to, to get off drugs and uh, I, I don't know we'll, we'll get an update sometime I guess if he's gone into a rehab or something but I think that was a, obviously that was the plan uh, and Shannon is in the hospital she had poison in her blood play, pray it's all gone and she gets better soon I you know I haven't heard anything um, that could have caused that how would you get poison in your blood uh, you know so I hope that um, so they can figure it out and get her better. Okay. All right. Our scripture of the day. Oops. Comes from Second Samuel uh, 22, 1 through 7, and then 29 through 30. Okay. 1 through 7. David sang to the Lord the words of this song when the Lord delivered him from the hand of all his enemies and from the hand of Saul. He said, The Lord is my rock, my fortress, and my deliverer. My God is my rock in whom I take refuge. 
my shield and the horn of my salvation. He is my stronghold, my refuge, and my Savior. From violent people you save me. I call to the Lord who is worthy of praise and have been saved from my enemies. The waves of death swirled about me. The torrents of destruction overwhelmed me. The cords of the grave coiled around me. The snares of death confronted me. In my distress, I called to the Lord. I called out to my God. From his temple, he heard my voice. My cry came to his ears. And then 29 and 30. You, Lord, are my lamp. The Lord turns my darkness into light. With your help, I can advance against a troop. With my God, I can scale a wall. Amen. Okay. And our devotion today is entitled Forest Dark Room. The army wouldn't give Tony Vaccaro a chance as a photographer, but that didn't stop him. Between terrifying moments of dodging artillery shells and shrapnel that seemed to rain from the trees, he took pictures anyway. Then as his friends slept, he used their helmets to mix the chemicals to develop his film. The nighttime forest became the dark room in which Vaccaro created a timeless record of World War II's Battle of Hurtgen, Hurtgen Forest. King David lived through his share of battles in dark times. 2 Samuel 22 says, The Lord delivered David from the hand of all his enemies and from the hand of Saul. David used those experiences to produce a record of God's faithfulness. He said, Waves of death swirled about me. The torrents of destruction overwhelmed me. David soon pivoted from desperation to hope. In my distress I called to the Lord, he recalled. From his temple he heard my voice. David made certain to praise God for his unfailing help. The Lord turns my darkness into light, he said. With your help, I can advance against a troop. With my God, I can scale a wall. David turned his difficulties into an opportunity to tell the world about his faithful God. We can do the same. After all, we rely on the one who turns darkness into light. When have you most felt when have you most felt most desperate? How will you tell others about God's faithfulness to you in that moment? Dear God, help me to see the many ways you protect and help me, especially when it's darkest. And Lord, I want to pray today for everyone on our prayer list. Please help all of them with their different needs. And Lord's name I pray. Amen. I hope you all enjoyed this early morning prayer request and devotions. If you did, I hope you'll press that like button. Also subscribe if you haven't already and share this out and hit that. So you get all my videos as soon as they come out. Everybody, I appreciate you watching so much. I hope you have a fantastic morning and I'd love to see you later on a morning coffee break. Bye everyone and God bless.